In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect the Flash Maker Flash Forge app to your Orca Flash Forge slicer. I know that's kind of a lot to say, but let's get into it. Step number one, what we want to do is we need to download Flash Maker. What you can do is you can actually download it at flashforge.com if you click on software tab up here and then click on Flash Maker. All you have to do is kind of scroll down and then what you need to do is take your phone out and open the camera and take a picture of the QR codes that are right here. See them right here next to my face? If you have an Apple, it's this one. If you have an Android, it's this one. Or you can just scan it right now in the video. What you can also do is it, during the installation process of your 3D printer, when you turn on the display, a lot of times that QR code will pop up. What it's having you do is just download Flash Maker and creating an account. And then what we want to do is just walk through all the prompts in creating a Flash Maker. It's essentially your Flash Forge account that's connecting the slicer, your 3D printer, and the phone app all together. And to be able to 3D print via Wi-Fi, this is what we need to do. So then what you want to then do is actually open up the app or the software Orca Flash Forge. After you've done that, after you've completely made a Flash Maker account, what you want to do is open a new project or a previous one and then click on your home button over here on the left. And then if you see that you're logged in, that is good. If you have to log in, go ahead and log in. The, the way we test the connectivity between these is you click on the home tab, see if you're logged in here and then click on the device tab. If your 3D printer shows up right here and it says idling, that is perfect. Now we are able to use the slicer. And by the way, guys, um, I have a full tutorial on how to use the, the Orca Flash Forge Slicer. It can be found right here. It's like a 16 minute beginner tutorial on how to use this. Just chances are you're somewhat of a beginner and looking to do all of this. This is my video on how to connect Flash Maker to Orca Flash Forge Slicer. Um, hit me up in the comments if you have questions, but the video will be right here, guys. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. It's right here, guys.